Surprising finds can happen anywhere at any time. It might have been an archaeologist finding something unexpected in a place where they thought they would find something else, or it may have been someone clearing out their attic or digging up their garden. Here are some of those unexpected treasures that have been recently discovered. Discovery of 17th century coins hidden in the walls. If you own a mansion in the desirable region of Brittany and France, it is already certain to be worth a lot of money. You won't really need an added bonus like finding 17th century gold coins hidden in the walls, but that was exactly what turned up during the renovation of a mansion in 2019. The property's owners wanted to connect the barn and a plant nursery on their land, but when stonemasons came to knock down an interior wall, they found coins stashed away inside a metal box. A second discovery was made a few days later, when more coins were found secured inside a bag hidden above a beam. There are 239 gold coins in total, most of which were minted during the region of French kings Louis XIII and Louis XIV in the 17th century. The property itself has been there since the 13th century, but it stood empty since the 18th century until the current owners acquired it and decided to renovate it. The reason the coins were hidden is unknown, as is the reason why the 18th century owners did not collect them before moving. The coins were eventually sent to auction and fetched a combined price of over $350,000. Discovery of Roman Ritual Bronze A Roman Ritual Bronze set was found in a field in North Yorkshire by amateur metal detectorists Mark Diddick and James Spark in May 2020. They took the finds to archaeologists at York Museum, who concluded that they are from the second century. The find includes a bust of Marcus Aurelius that was probably mounted on a scepter. The discoveries didn't fit the parameters of the 1996 Treasure Act, because the find contained no coins, was not prehistoric, and did not contain anything made of precious metal. Mark and James were free to cash in on the bronzes, which sold at auction for 185,000 pounds, equivalent to $260,000. Discovery of the Gagiana in the Adriatic Sea, Croatia. In 1583, the Venetian vessel, the Gagiana, sat in the Adriatic Sea under mysterious circumstances while carrying goods for the Ottoman ruler, Murad III. The treasures included embroidered silk, more than 1,000 elaborate wine glasses, chandeliers, and cannons. The most valuable items were the diamonds. Stories at the time said that the captain sank the ship deliberately and ran off with the diamonds, but that was never proven. The wreck was eventually found in 1960. From then until now, the valuables have never been shown to the public. Nobody is even 100% sure about what the divers retrieved. Discovery of Amethyst Seal in Jerusalem in October 2021, archaeologists found a beautiful lilac amethyst seal in Jerusalem. It would be an important discovery regardless of the circumstances, but the experts think that one of the symbols engraved on the tiny ring might depict a type of balsam repeatedly mentioned in the Bible. If so, this is the first contemporary depiction ever to be found. The balsam tree is also known as the biblical persimmon and is joined by the depiction of a bird that is most likely an ibis. According to records from the time, Balsam was used in incense during the time of the Second Temple. We cannot be sure of what it looks like because we have nothing to compare it to. Balsam and persimmon exist today, but the current orange persimmon fruit is not related to the biblical kind used in ointments, medicines, and incense. There is a lot of guesswork involved here, but the archaeologists are as sure as they can be that the ring is about 2,000 years old, and as sure as they can be that it contains an image of the balsam tree. Discovery of more than 7,000 coins in Aslingil, Hungary. A collection of more than 7,000 coins were found in Uslingil, Hungary in January 2021. The coins differ wildly in age, with the oldest dating back to Roman times and the most recent to the medieval era. The discovery comes from a site where 150 coins were discovered by metal detectorists in 2019. The amateurs were happy with their haul, but somehow missed a larger one next to it. Nearly all the coins are silver, but four are gold. The oldest of them, minted in the year 161, shows the face of the Roman Emperor Lucius Aurelius. The most recent is a Vatican denarius, issued by Pope Pius II in 1459. Historians think that the entire stash was hidden intentionally because of the threat posed by the Ottoman Empire, which advanced through the land quickly in the 16th century. Artifacts on the Danish island of Kiarno, close to Horsens. A treasure trove was found in a very muddy field on the Danish island of Kiarno, close to Horsens, over a three-year period that ended in September 2020. Most of the artifacts are ornate items of jewelry, many of which are either made from solid gold or include valuable pearls. Pendants, a gold needle, beads, and gold fragments used as a form of Iron Age currency are also included in the hoard. 
which professional archaeologists say is about 1,500 years old. Metal detectorist and dental assistant Therese Refsgaard found the first artifacts in spring 2017, then returned to the site several times over the years to add to the collection. The gold comes from a time just before the beginning of the Viking era in Denmark and features patterns and designs that historians have never seen before. 120 days in Sodom's scroll discovery in the Bastille prison cell. Not everyone would agree that 120 days of Sodom deserves to be called treasure. It was written by Marquis Assad while he was in prison in the Bastille during the 1780s. He never finished it because he was forcibly transferred out of prison and did not get a chance to grab it from its hiding place before he went. Opinions vary incredibly between the few people who have read the 39-foot-long scroll or even had the stomach to do so. Some consider it a masterpiece of profanity and excess, whereas others think it is the most disgusting literary pornography that any human has ever committed to paper. Since being rescued from the prison cell, the original copy of the work has changed hands from one private entity to another. It recently landed in the hands of a French investment firm called Aristophil, which turned out to be a Ponzi scheme and went bankrupt. All of its assets were scheduled to be sold, including 120 days of Sodom. The scroll attracted considerable interest from outside France, at which point the government stepped in to have it declared a national treasure, thereby preventing it from leaving the country. The San Jose Shipwreck The San Jose is probably the wealthiest shipwreck globally. The Colombian government would verify that, but they are not telling anybody, which is frustrating because they are the only national government in the world that knows where the wreck is. The vessel went down when British ships and Spanish ships waged war off the coast of Colombia in 1708. Of all the ships the British sank that day, the San Jose was the most costly from a Spanish point of view. The ship was a three-masted galleon vessel, piled high with precious jewels and gold from South America, destined for the treasury of King Philip V at home in Spain. A Colombian survey team finally located the wreck in 2015, somewhere near the port of Cartagena. That is when an argument started between the Spanish and the Colombians. The Spanish say it is theirs because it is on their ship, while the Colombians say it is theirs because it is on their water. Plus, the Spanish especially stole it from South America anyway and have no right to it. The dispute is unresolved and the valuables are still in the water. The discovery of Captain Kidd's pirate treasure. In 2015, archeologist Barry Clifford claimed to have discovered the long lost pirate treasure of Captain Kidd ending one of the longest-running pirate mysteries in history. Scotland-born Kidd is one of the most notorious 17th century pirates, hounding merchant vessels as they traveled across the Indian Ocean. He was eventually caught and executed in 1701, but never disclosed the location of his buried treasure. He hid it the year before by scuttling a ship in a safe location, but swore he would only give it up in exchange for his life. Clifford's claim to have found the treasure close to the coast of Madagascar was very exciting until a year later. A UNESCO investigation suggested that the treasure was not actually treasure and that the shipwreck Clifford has found was not connected to Captain Kidd. The Tomb of a Scythian Princess Scythian burials were usually communal affairs with multiple bodies placed in the same tomb. When Russian archaeologists found a tomb containing just one body in Crimea in 2019, they suspected that its contents might be remarkable, and they were right. The tomb belongs to a Scythian princess who lived and died in the first century, and she went to her grave surrounded by treasures worth more than $2 million. Her remains were surrounded by more than 140 artifacts, including a beautiful laurel wreath made from eight gold leaves. She also had solid gold plates over both of her eyes, two solid gold rings and a brooch engraved with arrows and dog images. The experts were very lucky to find the grave in unspoiled condition because every one of the other tombs they had found in the area had been broken into by looters hundreds of years ago. Many of the items in the tomb are unique, with nothing matching their design known to exist anywhere else in the world. The objects are now on display in a museum in the Netherlands, but might soon return to a permanent home in Crimea.